What is up, YouTube? My name is Leap Games, and today we're hopping back into Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video global side of the game, and we are very pleased and excited to announce that we are getting our Easy A's here on Global for the big boy Year 5 LRs. I just posted a video of them pre-Easy A to see how well they're doing. That video did awesome. You guys are crushing it. I'll have it linked at the end of this video, but um, today we're going to be going over each individual Easy A before my next video, which we do a showcase with. Now remember, my units are rainbowed, link level 10, fully everything is good to go. We're going to do a 100% showcases on both, but for now in this video, we're going to go over stats for both. Um, what, they gonna, what they're going to do, their easy A's and all that good stuff. So let's start with our boy Vegito here. So this is currently coming up very, very soon. I'm recording this on August 1st, but it's about to be a reset here, so they're coming up very soon. Um, we have the Vegito Easy A, which um, he is weak to Super Int and Extreme Int type characters. Obviously, type advantage, right? And Realm of Gods category, also the Link Skill Legendary Power. This is this should not be too hard to take down. Realm of Gods is a fairly large category, plus Legendary Power. Wouldn't be too hard to fit. I'll probably do a video on uh, taking down these uh, guys as well, but that is our Vegito Easy A. If we hop over here to Gogeta... We have, he is weak to Super AGL and Extreme AGL, obviously type advantage, right? Pure Saiyans category uh, characters, one of the easiest to do in the game, right? Pure Saiyans is such a wide variety of uh, characters. And anyone who possesses a Link Skill Legendary Power, just like that, will activate the Link Skill to deal increased damage, right? So Gogeta, um, not bad. He should be fairly, fairly easy to take down. If you need to awaken him first, then hop into Tech Vegito here. Realm of Gods, right? So if we actually go to our cards over here now, let's take a look at Vegito first. So his easy A, man. I'm so excited for these and to do these showcases. Final Trump card or Patara category. Key plus three and HP attack and defense 170 above. Not bad. That's a pretty good leader skill if you do have these units. His passive skill, attack and defense plus 140%. Key plus four when attacking. Launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack as the first or second attacker in a turn. Launches an additional super attack and great chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attack, as the third attacker in a turn. Plus an additional defense plus 100% when attacking. Transforms when conditions are met. Now these units put up a lot of attack stats pre-Easy A. Very good attack uh, stat numbers and they keep building up. But their defense is very bad. Currently pre-Easy A. They do end up fixing that with the easy A's, and these guys become actual gods. They do. They do. So his super attack and 12 key in base, raise attack, raises defense for one turn, causes a colossal damage to enemy. Um, Ultra at 18 key, raises attack, greatly raises defense for one turn, and causes mega colossal damage to enemy. His links are saying, or yes, links are saying warrior, warrior race, brainiacs, power bestowed by god, over in a flash, fuse fighter, fierce battle, legendary power. Categories, Future, Transformation Boost, Final Trump Card, Power Beyond, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Superheroes, Accelerated Battle, Battle of Fate, Time Travelers, Realm of Gods, Patara, Fuse Fighters, Time Limit, and Battle of Wits. All fantastic categories. He is just a huge buff for a lot of these uh, categories that are kind of not really struggling, but some of them are. Like Future needs help, very bad. Uh, time Limit needs help, kind of, sort of. Uh, Battle of Fates. Battle of Wits, Accelerate. Oh, just awesome, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, the transformation, one of the best in the game. Transforms starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle. So that is fine. That is truly fine. His best link leveling partners are Gogeta and some of the other Vegito Blues, obviously, and some of these base Vegitos. But let's click on our big boy here. So after he transforms, okay... Passive skill. Evades enemies' attack, including super attack, for one turn after transforming. Okay, so he gets a free guaranteed dodge, pretty much, after he transforms. Attack and defense plus 150 above. Key plus 5 launches an additional super attack and medium chance of launching another additional super attack as the first or second attacker in a turn. Key plus 7 launches an additional super attack and great chance of evading enemies' attack. In that third slot, so just like the base form, right? Plus an additional key plus one up to five, and attack and defense plus 22% up to 88 total with each attack performed. Launches an additional super attack when activating the active skill or when key is 24. Whoo! 
These guys are monsters, man. I'm so excited to use them, honestly. They're going to be a fun, fun units to use, man. Let me know down below. First of all, drop a like if you haven't already. Please subscribe if you uh, can too. Helps me out greatly. Let's me uh, know you guys are enjoying the content as well. But also let me know in the comments, who are you excited for more? Vegeta Blue or Gogeta Blue? Active skill, the final Kamehameha. Can be activated when facing only one enemy whose HP is 50% or less, starting from the next attack in turn, only once only. Uh, greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate dam damage to enemy. Nice, nice, nice. So his 12 key, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage to enemy. And his 18 key greatly raises defense for 3 turns and causes mega colossal damage to enemy. I'm so excited to see how their defense is compared to when I just used them. They're pre-easy A. It's going to be phenomenal. Again, they're the categories and he gains Super Saiyan, obviously. And I think that's the only one that he gains from that. And few, No, he had Fuse Fighter. Yep. So that is your Vegito Blue, man. He's looking like an absolute monster. He truly is. Again, if you guys aren't excited for these easy A's over on Global for the 8th anniversary, I don't know what, what to excite you with then, man. These units are going to be so fun. So let's, uh, let's hop back here. Let's take a look at our big boy STR Gogeta here. So his leader skill is going to be uh, final trump card or fusion category. Key plus 3 and HP attack and defense 170%. By the way, that card art is one of my favorites in the game. Passive skill for base form Gogeta here. Easy aid. Attack and defense plus 140. Key plus 4 when attacking. Launch an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack. as the first or second attacker. Launch an additional super attack and great chance of evading. Just like Vegito, right? In that third slot. Plus an additional defense plus 100%. When attacking, transforms when conditions are met. Ah, I love him. I love it. I don't know who I'm going to like more, honestly. 12 key. Raise attack. Raise defense for one turn. So he stacks attack there. Uh, class is a colossal damage to enemy. Perfect. 18 key. Raise attack. Again, he's stacking, right? Greatly raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal. Nice, nice, nice. Now his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Fuse Fighter, Prepare for Battle, Over in a Flash, Kamehameha, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And he's at the same categories except Powerful Comeback. Um, let's Fuse Fighters, Fusion, Final Trump Card, Super Heroes, Movie Heroes. Awesome, awesome, awesome buffs. He transforms just like Vegito at the fourth turn, right? And let's take a look at our... Oh, I love this unit so much, man. He looks so good. So now when he transforms after that fourth turn, his new passive skill, Astounding Power, evades enemies attack just like Vegito for one turn after transforming. Attack and defense plus 150% up. Key plus five and launches two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. An attacks effect effective against all types as the first or second attacker in a turn. Key plus seven launches an additional super attack and great chance of evading enemies attack in that third slot. A real tip, when you do your active skill with these guys, put them in the third slot, do that active skill, and then you get the free dodge buff. Plus an additional key plus one up to five, and attack and defense 22, up to 88% total. So just like Vegito, right, with each attack performed, performs a critical hit when activating the active skill or when key is 24. Oh. He gets guaranteed crits. Like, how? oh my goodness. Active skill, the ultimate Kamehameha. Can be activated when facing only one enemy whose HP is 50% or less. Again, just like Vegito, right? These are the year 5 LRs, anniversary LRs. So they, they match up pretty closely, right? Still the most hype units I think we've had on anniversary, honestly. Oh, man. And he causes, or greatly raises attack, temporarily raises, or temporarily, and causes ultimate damage to enemy. Um, super attack from 12 key, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. Colossal damage to enemy. 18 key. Reuses defense for 3 turns and causes mega colossal damage to enemy. His 100% stats are insane. Look at those. Jeez like, Louise, man. I am so excited to try these units out. Real quick, I wonder if we can get his, uh, his active skill. This is the KO screen, by the way, which looks amazing. I'm wondering if they have audio here. For some reason, they don't have the audio, but I wish they did on this website. They don't, but here's the active skill for uh, Gogeta. Just, it, dude, it looks like it's taken right out of the movie and put into this game. It looks so good. These units are, this is from the 5th anniversary. We're on the 8th year anniversary. 
nothing has fell off. These guys are like seriously my favorite. I love that they're getting an easy ape. I cannot wait to awaken them tonight. And real quick, uh, I will show you uh, Vegito's active skill too once he transforms. Just because we took a look at Gogeta's. Let's hop over here. There we go. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. There we go. So here's Vegito's as well. Take a good long look. This is the power of Vegito. And he does his final Kamehameha. So good. I know the Vegito Blue arc was very short, or very short on screen in Dragon Ball Super, but man, it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, there you have it, everyone. We have new Easy A's coming. I am so excited. Let me know down below who you are more excited for, STR Gogeta or Tech Vegito Blue. I'm not sure yet, man. I, I love Gogeta, but I love Vegito as well. These are some awesome Easy A's coming, and... I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. But good luck on your summons if you're doing any more. If you still got some summons to do. Have fun with these easy A's. They're absolute gods. So get them done. Make sure you grind them out. Plus it's free stones, right? But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. It helps my channel out greatly. And it lets me know that you guys are enjoying this. Comment which one you're more excited for. And uh, until next time, I'll have a showcase for you coming very, very soon. I'm going to have a lot of fun with these units. So, All right, everyone. That's going to do it for me. Enjoy the easy A's, have fun, and until next time, I will see you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, everyone. Bye.